Okay. Today we're going to talk about uh, recording vocals and how to get your vocals to sound good. So I have, uh, in Reaper, I have already recorded, uh, I've already recorded a vocal line here, which we can have a quick listen to. Can I go home again? Okay, so, uh, it's very dry and there are unappealing aspects to it that are just the consequence of recording it with a microphone. So uh, I'm going to use uh, this VST. It's Waves uh, Chris Lord Alge uh, Vocals and I'm going to use it as a template and we are going to build using only the free plugins that come with Reaper something that approximates this great Waves plugin because this costs about $50 and not everybody wants to spend $50 especially when you've just spent $60 on Reaper right okay so if we have a listen to the Chris Lord Alge version you cannot go home again the Chris Lord Alge version has a little bit of gain at the beginning it has an EQ just simple bass and treble. It has a compressor, uh, which is set to spank. Uh, the These are not exactly technical terms that he built into his uh, VST. It has a little bit of reverb. It has delay. And it has a little bit of stereo pitch, which we're going to ignore. And then it has a little bit of final output gain. And all of these are uh, all of these are just the simple start me up um, preset that he has. And in my opinion, just the start me up is a really great place to start messing around with your vocals and trying to get them to sound good. So how are we going to build that? Well, we're going to use five, five different um, VSTs and Jesusonic plugins. All right, so the first one is volume. Now, just like the Chris Lord Alge one, I've just gone ahead and added 2.5 um, 2.5 decibels. Uh, you might need a little bit more, a little bit less, or you might not need anything at all. It depends on your microphone. For this recording, I used a very cheap dynamic microphone that I bought at a tech store. So, next on the list is an EQ. Now, I'm a man, and I have a pretty wide vocal range, so I picked wide male vocal as the preset. There's also full vocals, clear vocals, background vocals, a second background vocals, and you can find other presets on the internet which give you a pretty good, uh, pretty good starting place. So I chose wide male vocal, but there was one difference that I noticed. The wide male vocals are much clearer in mine in my version than in the Chris Loud Chris Lord Alge's version version. So what I did was I turned off the third the third uh, the third band, sorry. And the fourth one, I set that to a high shelf and then I just bring it down so that it's just a little bit darker. Next, we put a compressor. Recomp is a pretty transparent, pretty basic, uh, easy to use compressor. It has a lot of settings, but luckily it also has a lot of presets for you to have a starting point. I just choose modern vocal. There's also aggressive vocal and yeah, there's a modern vocal or aggressive vocal. So we pick modern vocal, everything looks pretty good. Uh, one thing that uh, Recomp has that's pretty nice is uh, auto makeup. And if you don't know what a compressor does, a compressor makes the louder sounds softer and the softer sounds louder. Uh, in using a compressor, usually your audio sounds quieter. And it's, it's an objective, it's usually uh, an objective or a subjective uh, opinion. It just sounds softer. So what auto makeup does is it literally takes the waveform from before, 
whatever its peaks are, and it it uh, puts a gain on your compressed file so that it's just as loud uh, physically as the previous one, and then all of a sudden it sounds a lot louder than the original file. Uh, you may need it, you may not. Next up, we use Redelay. Redelay has uh, only a few uh, simple presets, but two of them are for vocals. There's a vocal slapback and a slap feedback. For this, I would just choose vocal slapback and everything looks good. With Reverberate, Reverberate also has many different uh, presets. It has uh, intimate vocal, live vocal, and then two different background vocals. Uh, I chose intimate vocal. Another thing that I did was that these delays uh, introduce, you can really hear the echo and the reverb on these. And that's something that, at least in the great sounding Chris Lord Alge version, uh, there, there is not. Even though there's a delay and a little bit of reverb, uh, you can't really hear it all that well. It just gives you a nice rounded sound. So what I've done with both the re-delay and the reverb is this little knob here is a wet dry knob and I set them both at about 50 percent and that way they're only half working you're getting half of the uh, sound that's coming out of the compressor uh, is going into the delay and going into the reverb and then half of it is clean so we have a listen to that you cannot go home Again. And it sounds pretty good. It's not as great as the Chris Lord Alge, but it is a very good starting place. Uh, a couple of things I'm going to tell you before the video ends here is that whenever you have a vocal track, uh, the first thing you should do is don't use a gate on it unless you absolutely have to. Uh, if you have a nice, cleanly recorded vocal track with no other sounds, just go through you can. and cut out everything that you don't need. You cannot go home. And try not to cut off the tails. Go home again. So forth and so on. So that you only have the vocal phrases and you don't have for example, breath, you. which you can hear right here. Because in, at least I don't particularly like hearing the breath in my vocals. And you want to do that first, then you just go through, you add, and each one of these is going to process your sound. And it's going to make your sound a little bit different and just using the presets that Reaper comes with, you can get a pretty decent sound with just a couple of adjustments. And from there, you can go on and tweak your uh, vocals until they sound exactly the way that you want them. All right, I hope that helped.